I have never been brought on stage while the host yells at the audience like we're all going on holiday together. This is insane. He, he just completely yelled at you. Like, Nico had that, like, angry dad on vacation vibe. Like, seriously! And then he even made you clap, and you didn't look like you wanted to at all. I mean, I've never... I have never seen, like, such teenage enthusiasm from an audience member. Like, you're gonna clap, and you were like... I suppose you want me to laugh, too? What's going on, man? Is this room just in here to get away from the virus? What is this? Is this just shelter? Is that what it is? Are we gonna repopulate the earth with the contents of this room? People are like, I don't even know what's down there. All I know is it's underground and it looks safe. I'll take three tickets, please. And you were like, oh, do I have to go? Yes, you do. Well, I'm not gonna clap or laugh. I don't know what's happening, but I'm gonna stop talking to her, because when I do, you guys get really awkward, man. I don't know what's happened in this room. I'm just gonna keep focusing on you two, because quite honestly, you comfort me. You look like you're about to create an app. I'm telling you, we stay down here, we let the virus take its course, these guys are gonna invent a cure by next week. We're just gonna have a little society, we're gonna lock you in a room. You, you probably don't even have any education, but you look smart. And you're just gonna be desperately like, I told you, I don't know any science. Nice try, Poindexter. You get in there and you come up with a cure. Don't worry, we found the nerdiest looking guy, we've got him working on it. When I say nerdy, man, I mean smart. Sorry, I took a little shot at you there for a minute. <laughs> nerdy, you know, nerdy sexy. Well, there's nothing I can do about it. And now I, li I like how you're striking a pose now. To I I've given you a complex and you're just trying to like... Yeah? Do I look like a computer nerd? When I do this? Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, man. What a great look about you, man. <laughs> yeah. Nerd, huh? <laughs> he just pulled a Zoolander on me. He's like... I don't usually bring this pose out in public, but here goes. That is definitely going to be the cover shot when you invent that app, right there. Man. You're going to be doing a documentary about this place. This is where it all started, man. Hell yes. I love it, man. I love it. Got a good vibe about you, man. This is good. I feel like we got a good vibe. You guys are drinking. It's a Tuesday night. Beautiful, man. Nice. Not hell yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, there's a 90s rapper in the audience. Pretty pleasant thing to come out of. Hell yeah. Oh, apparently we're on the set of an R&B video from 1993. Can you follow me to all my gigs and just punctuate my jokes with that? I'm just gonna do jokes and then at the end you come up and go, Hell yeah. I want you to sit in the audience to do that and I want you guys to come with me and help me with my social media. <laughs> This has got like a million followers, you're damn right. Thanks, sir, gang. Yeah. Yeah. Are you the Austrian guy? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of sad that I was able to guess that spot on. <laughs> nice, man. That's a good vibe. I met an Austrian guy recently, a 69-year-old man named Wolfgang. <laughs> Hell yeah. Is that still a, is that a common name in Austria? It's a bit, it's a bit out of date, isn't it? I love that, man. Wolfgang. I loved this guy. He was amazing. I had to get a bus ticket with him, long story. And someone said, how do you spell that? He just goes, it's Wolf and Zen guy. <laughs> Goddamn right it is. <laughs> Kidding me? I'm gonna name my child Wolfgang. I wouldn't even have to raise him. <laughs> just gonna grow up strong, just based on that. <laughs> Wolfgang Hicks, are you kidding me? Oh look, you're almost smiling. Um, <laughs> let it happen, let it happen. 
I don't know what's going on over here. The three of you look like you've been kidnapped. What is this? Yes, and you look like a cult leader if I'm honest with you. I don't know what's happening on this side of the room, but I feel like you're trying to communicate with me. Let us out. Let us out, Russ, please. We've been living in this basement for weeks. No, nice, man. Hell yeah, guys. I love that vibe, man. I'm American, obviously. Any Americans in here? Look at that, man. Wow. You got the vibrancy that tells me you're on holiday, because usually when Americans live here too long, they lose that enthusiasm. But you guys are fresh, man. You guys are fresh. What are you doing over here? Did they send you over here to kill the virus? No. That's, the, that's, that's Donald Trump's prevention strategy. Don't worry, we got our best people on it. Either that or just your family was like, all right, get over there and kill that thing. Hey, hey, I bought you three plane tickets. Get over there and kill that thing. Don't worry, man, we're gonna fuck it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got the cure for the virus right here. Click, click. Oh, what am I gonna do when the coronavirus comes? I'm gonna shoot it in the face. What's up, Corona? What's up? No, I ain't worried one bit, dude. I got, I'm armed to the teeth. What part of America are you from? Nice, all right. I'll explain just so you guys know. America's a big place. We all get lumped together. You can understand all of America in relation to Jesus, okay? You've got the East Coast. That's a bunch of people that don't believe in Jesus, right? You've got the South, which is a bunch of people that shoot you if you say anything about Jesus. And you've got the West Coast, where I'm from, where you can smoke weed every day with someone who looks exactly like Jesus. That would have been a great moment for the hell yeah guy. I wouldn't have been surprised if you just pulled out a giant blunt, lit it, and were like, hell yeah. I don't even know what the hell yeah person looks like. It would absolutely blow my mind if it was like you. Stand up, what the hell is this? What? I, I'm not calling for a mutiny. Can you stand up again? Nobody thought that was gonna be the guy. No, seriously, can the real Hell Yeah guy stand up? <laughs> I have never seen a body that betrays his voice so much. Hell yeah, dude. Are you gonna wear your sweater vest tonight? Hell yeah. Oh, oh man! <laughs> I freaking love that guy. I love that you guys took mutiny the gig. Stand up! <laughs> On your feet! I want to get a good look at him. <laughs> What's your name, man? Alex. Alex? Yeah. You've gone back to your original voice now. What happened? <laughs> Alex. <laughs> Only when he says hell yeah does he take on that baritone. Yeah, I'm Alex. And a boy, Alex, glad to have you, buddy. Where are you coming from? Bob. Oh. You are literally getting whiter by the second. <laughs> you have come a long way from hell yeah. Actually, my name is Alex, and I'm from Bob. What are you doing here, Alex? Uh, come to the show. Oh. <laughs> His other voice is pretty good, too. Man. That was the poshest sentence I've ever heard. Uh, come for the show. Why don't you just do an impression of Captain Kirk for a I go for the show. <laughs> that was a great reference for a room full of 20 year olds. <laughs> the original Star Trek. You guys are Zoomers, huh? How old are you, bud? You're 20 and a half. 
It was a very Austrian way to say that. I am 9,000 months. I'm still at 2.2 .2 seconds. A little rigid, mate. You can leave the half off. 20 and a half? How young are you? 20 and a half. <laughs> the only other person in here who knows exactly how old he is like that is Alex, because the older he gets, the closer he gets to his inheritance. I'm 30 years old, daddy can't live forever. I've come for the show. <laughs> he got so sexy and coy there for a minute. Wow. Are you 20 and a half? Is he lying? Oh, you're 20 and a half, bud. Good for you. Zooming. I love that, man. That's Gen Z, right? Those are the people that came out of their mom's vagina texting. Like, already in it. Like, the only reason I'm here is I was on 5% battery and there's no plug socket in there. <laughs> Hell yeah. Out of boy, bud. Nice, nice hat. I love it. Coming from back. Sorry, North Carolina. I was talking to you. What are you doing over here? Uni. Uni? What are you studying? Business. Business. Okay. Nice. All right. There you go. Get in there. Make a little bit of money. Nice. Think about your future. Anything in particular? Just general business? Uh, data analytics. Data analytics. This is getting pretty exciting, eh, mate? <laughs> His glasses are fogging up. <laughs> Jesus, say data analytics again. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, Jesus. this section of the room. If we're going to repopulate the earth, we might have to kill you first. This side of the room is fucking animals. Stand up. Make them kiss. Easy, you guys. I like your attitude, but I think you need to pull it back just a little bit. I'm like, oh, data analytics. He likes science. You're like, they should fuck. What? Whoa, take it easy. Yet anyway, one step at a time. He's 20 and a half. He needs to kiss a girl first. Don't worry, he looks genuinely nervous. It's gonna be fine, mate. You're not ready for an American yet. You can't have it. Their American girls are tough, man. You won't know, you won't know what to do with them. But where are you guys coming from, man? What, what's who's the guy that said kiss? I feel like you guys are all together, yeah? Yeah. Go ahead, where are you from? Why are you from Italy? Oh. Okay, I probably shouldn't have done an impression of Super Mario. <laughs> probably wasn't the most culturally appropriate thing to do for me to go, ah, are you from Italy? That's how dumb I am, by the way. When I go to other countries, I think I can speak their language if I speak English and their accent. I'll go to Italy, hello! It's a me, a Mario! No, but I do love to travel. You need to. You're coming from Italy. Great. That's the thing, man. America, you know this. You got to get out there and see other cultures, don't you? Yeah. Because everyone's so divided. <laughs> I don't know why that was funny. I liked it. You sound like you were ready to go right now. Yeah, I'll go. That's fun. Okay. You got to travel around, man. You've got to see other places. Why is everyone so divided right now? That's what I've noticed, right? I was in Spain recently. I went to Barcelona. I went to Catalonia, right? And I went up to this lady. I said, Spain is muy bonita. And she was like, I am Catalan. I hate the Spain. I was like, listen, I'm American. To me, you're both Mexican. Obviously, that's a satire on American ignorance. <laughs> I know the difference between Spanish and Mexican, obviously, it's burritos and tapas. <laughs> burritos are actually an American invention, if you, and if you think about it, it makes perfect sense. Like, I imagine long ago, a Mexican made a beautiful spread for an American. Like, I've got some beans, rice, jalapenos. The American was like, okay, shut up. Here's what I want you to do, okay? I want you to take all that shit, roll it up into one big old piece of carpet, I'm gonna eat it in one bite, okay? 
No, senor, no. You don't shut your mouth. I'll put you in there too, Jorge. You hear me? <laughs> Roll it up. <laughs> People think we're stupid, you know? The difference is Americans aren't stupid. We're ignorant. There's a difference, okay? <laughs> we could know about other cultures. We choose not to. <laughs> I don't think it's totally our fault though, you know, like, and, and America, you can back me up on this, like, when we transport, the, like, when we export stuff to you guys, right, to anywhere else in the world, we're very arrogant, we don't change it, so everybody knows our references, they know all, everything about America, but when things get exported to us, they totally alter it, so that we know nothing. Like, you had the Harry Potter books, right? You had Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, when they gave it to us, they changed it to Sorcerer's Stone. Like, really? You think we can handle that? <laughs> Like that would throw us off. Like fucking Pelopsers, what? <laughs> Pelopser? <laughs> no, no, he's gay. I know that. <laughs> I ain't fucking with no gay ass wizard. <laughs> Take that book, Travis. Pull. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Woo! Get out of here, book. <laughs> Messing with me. Beautiful, man. So you're coming over from Italy. Great. What are you doing over here? Are you working? What's happening? I work in the school. You do what? You yeah. you work in the language school? That's right. Oh, thank you. That... <laughs> By this interaction, I can tell you're very good at it. <laughs> I love how you said that. Were you saying I was right or correct? Because you're... That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> very well done. Next, we're going to work on your prepositions. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> Look at you standing and talking all by yourself. <laughs> so, who are you here with, Italy? Who, who are you here with? Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm gonna have to stop you. It sounds like this is gonna take a while. <laughs> I forgot you Italians have pretty big families. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, there's Giuseppe and Mario. <laughs> this whole section is just Italy. Now, who do you got? Who are you here with? You, what now? I'm sorry, did you just say Steve and Steve? You're with two guys named Steve? That's weird. I love that. Steve and Steve. <laughs> when did you meet these guys? Around. You met them around. I don't know, man. They seem dodgy to me. <laughs> I'm Steve, and this is my friend, and then he just bottled it. Uh, I'm Steve, too. <laughs> Afterward, he's like, dude, what the fuck was that? I, what? I panicked. I couldn't think of another name. So now we're just Steve and Steve? Nobody's gonna believe that shit. Just stay calm, mate. Stay calm. It'll work. It'll work. Well, this is beautiful. North Carolina, you know, when you're out there doing your data analytics, you know, I hope you think of me. Uh, best of luck to you and all your schooling. And uh, if you kids ever do get out into the sunlight, I <laughs> you should run free and play. <laughs> What's going on with you, by the way? Why would they make a big deal of you? It's, it's you. Oh, it's their birthday. Oh, well, who gives a shit? All right. <laughs> No offense, you'll have plenty more. You seem very young. Oh, you just texted. Great. <laughs> That's amazing. What were you texting there? You know what I love everything about your vibe? You have your feet fully on the stage. Like, you are just very comfortable. I like it. I have, like, literally never seen an audience member with their feet up and texting. Is this going to take longer? Because I've got somewhere to be. Yeah, I've got a date with the Steves later. Yeah, they're both named Steve. They go out as a pair. <laughs> Texting, mate. You on that phone a lot, bud? You, you on... Hello? Hi, how are you? <laughs> Sorry, mate. Quick one. You on the phone a lot? What happened to your hand, by the way? <laughs> Jesus, what happened? Oh, I bet people have been making wank jokes, haven't they? <laughs> people have been making a lot of wank jokes? Is that what's been going on tonight? No, that's unbelievable. I mean, you're 20 and a half. God knows you've probably been tugging it out all day, but... <laughs> Good for you, bud. Good for you, you young Austrian boy. Yeah. <laughs> I just imagine you in a room. I imagine all Austrians, when they wank, they play right set Fred, like, <laughs> I am so sexy. 
Bobby, you're a good dude, man. You're a good dude. I like you, man. I don't do the porn anymore. No, thank you. I don't do it. Don't look at it. You've got to stop at some point. I'm 36. Enough of that already. You know what I mean? You gotta stop. I've been cured of it, really. Because uh, one time I was having a wank looking at my cell phone, and uh, here's the thing that nobody tells you, okay? Turn your notifications off when you do that, all right? Because you can get text messages from the outside world. It's a horrible experience. Nobody wants to get messages from the outside when you're in that dirty bubble, right? And I got the worst one ever. My dad texted me. Yeah. It was right at the end, it just said, I'm proud of you, son. <laughs> I don't think you are, Daddy. I don't think you are. But ladies and gentlemen, what a beautiful experience, you know? I mean, you're, what's your name again? Torgis? Torgis. Fucking hell. I genuinely think that's what stops me from having a kid, is I don't know all the names yet. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, can you imagine if I named my kid Greg and then I found out Torgis was an option? <laughs> I'd be like, what, Greg? Come on, Greg. <laughs> What's the matter, Dad? You could have been Torgis. <laughs> I was genuinely thinking of naming my kid Wolfgang, though, after meeting that dude. Fucking Wolfgang, man. But now I'm thinking Torgis. <laughs> Are you serious? He'd be incredible. Imagine him in school with all the other kids, right? They're doing roll call. How fucking awesome would my kid be? They're calling out the other names like, oh, Stuart Thompson. Oh, yes, she sure. <laughs> oh, Greg Smith, yes. Steve, yes. Steve, yes. <laughs> and then they get to my kid, Torgis Hicks. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs>